Good evening and welcome to the service of Compline or Night Prayer. My name is Karen. I'm really glad you've joined me here this evening. I'm one of the priests at St. Paul's Blur Street. Um, if you'd like to follow along with this order of service, you can find it in the video description. Or if you'd like to simply listen and pray along with me silently, that's absolutely fine. Um, just to let you know that this is the season of Lent. We're in the first week of Lent, which is the 40-day period leading up to Easter, in which we prepare our hearts and our minds for the um, events of Holy Week and of Easter. And so our service today and for the next few weeks will reflect that. Um, after Compline is over and starting at 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday evenings for the next six weeks, there will also be a Zoom prayer room, which you can uh, join. I will put the link in the video description and also in the chat. And it's also on our website at stpaulsbloor.org forward slash Lent. You can find a lot of different resources there, including the links for each of the weeks uh, for this prayer room. It won't be led by me, but it, it was going to be a, a really beautiful experience, I think. So I do invite you to join the prayer room at 7.30. And now let's begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Compassion and forgiveness belong to the Lord. For the forgiveness of our sins and offenses, let us pray to the Lord. And now I invite you to take some time just to think through the past day with everything that it's held, both the good and the bad, and to lift it up to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. For our hymn this evening, we have our Compline hymn, one of the most ancient and traditional hymns for Compline. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. For our psalm this evening, I have chosen a different psalm for each uh, week in Lent, so we'll be doing different psalms um, that are more Lenten themed. <laughs> and so this evening is Psalm 126, which is one of the songs of ascent, um, the songs that they used to sing as they were going up to Jerusalem to worship in the temple. And this one Yes, Psalm 126, well, you'll see. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like the streams in the Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I love that psalm. Uh, another one of my favorites. I know you hear a lot of my favorites on here. Uh, but the idea of going out weeping, carrying seed for sowing, and then returning with songs of joy, carrying sheaves. That's just beautiful. 
For our scripture reading, uh, I've decided not to go with what we're doing on Sundays because it's a little bit of all over the place with Barry leaving, Jenny starting, and um, and then moving into the Gospel of John. So I am sticking with the Gospel of John, but I thought I would sit in John 14 and 15 over the next couple of weeks, uh, in the next few weeks, which is Jesus talking to his disciples before the events um, that start on, well, uh, the Last Supper and everything that follows. So this is Jesus just chatting with his disciples. And our reading tonight is from John 14, 1 to 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place that I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him, and you have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you for such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask for anything in my name, and I will do it. The Word of the Lord. Moving on to the responsories. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon, beginning and ending with the refrain. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. For our prayers this evening, I'm going to turn again to this little prayer book, St. Augustine's prayer book. And I'm going to read portions, or pray, (laughs) and invite you to pray with me, portions from A Litany of Intercession in the Night. Let's pray. O God, our Father, for the sake of the infinite love that burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, we plead for all tonight who stand most in need of your merciful love and protection. For the wrongs we have committed and the good we have left undone, have mercy. For all false judgments and uncharitable thoughts towards others, have mercy. 
for presumption on your grace and arrogance towards others, have mercy. By your humility in washing the disciples' feet, save us, Jesus. For those in darkness this night, save us, Jesus. On all without home and shelter this night, have mercy. On refugees and those whose homes are destroyed in war, have mercy. On children abandoned or disowned by their families, have mercy. On all in mental anguish, have mercy. On those caught in addiction and destructive habits, have mercy. On the hungry, the cold, and the frightened, have mercy. By your cross and passion, save them, Jesus. Those who are out to rescue and protect, strengthen by your love. For those who work in the night hours, have mercy. For the police and all the first responders, have mercy. For those in transportation, have mercy. For journalists, have mercy. For those who clean and repair buildings or infrastructure, have mercy. For doctors and nurses, have mercy. For all whose work sustains our community, have mercy. By your night spent watching in prayer, save them, Jesus. Those who work or watch or weep this night, sustain with your presence. To the sick and the suffering, and to all in agony of body or mind, give comfort and peace. To parents watching with sleepless children, to caregivers tending the elderly, to all who stand and watch over others this night, give patience and steadfastness. For the sleepless and the lonely, be near them. For those in anxiety or mental distress, calm them. For those who this night will suffer bereavement, visit them and sustain them. To those who will die this night, give hope and in your mercy receive their souls. On those dying suddenly and unprepared, have mercy. On those dying without hope or faith, have mercy. On those dying alone, have mercy. To the faithful departed, and all for whom no one prays, grant light and peace. To us sinners, now and in the hour of our death, grant pardon of sins, renewal of faith, quickening of love, and a reasonable and holy hope in, in you. By your holy death, deliver us, Jesus. By your glorious resurrection, save us and bring us to all the joys of paradise. And once again, that's from St. Augustine's Prayer Book, a litany of intercession in the night. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. And now let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught all his friends and his followers to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us. Lord Christ, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And now a blessing as we go. 
the blessing of God, the God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you tonight and this week and this season of Lent and always. Amen. Have a wonderful week and I will uh, see you next week. And don't forget about the prayer room at 730. Take care.